So Wafa is a person who has literally changed the lives of millions of people, saved the lives of millions of people. Wafa for me epitomizes the nexus between clinical medicine, science, policy, and action. I met Wafa in the early 1980s at Harlem Hospital. She was one of the few doctors in the country that was out there working with, fighting for, and taking care of uh, people with AIDS whom a lot of people didn't want to be near. We were still wearing hazmat suits at the time. And Wafa was not only in the middle of this, she was in the lead of this ensuring that these people got the best care possible. Wafa, to me, is a great public health expert because the ability to bring all the components and look at a person and not just the disease that you want to treat. The fear to translate that ability or that science into implementation, what we call from bench side to bedside. Wafa breaches that. I mean, she's able to navigate the complexities of conducting good science, but also bringing the impact of good science to the bedside. I can't think of a person who has been more effective and more consequential for the world than Wafa. It's deep inside her. I mean, she can't imagine a world in which she wouldn't get up in the morning and try to help people who are in need. This grant is, is one that I manage out of the HIV team at the Gates Foundation. And it started off actually as a $3 million project that was only gonna last three years. To be honest, I didn't think that ICAP was gonna be the right one for the job. But having Wafa say, I'm gonna make this work, I'm gonna put my resources and, and my political capital on the line, and have a $3 million turned into a $25 million grant, is that ICAP did such a wonderful job of actually putting the whole organization's ego a little bit on the back. We are working together. Let's bring this back to the science. Let's bring this back to the patients. Uh, and, and let's bring this back actually to the health systems. She is a leader, a quintessential hard-working, committed individual who is selfless in the way in which she commits herself to addressing the big challenges in infectious diseases. Indeed, her impact across several countries in Africa is nothing short of amazing. She has changed the very way in which healthcare is being provided to AIDS patients. In all the pictures that I've seen and all the travels that she's been to, the light on the faces of the people who are around her and with her, you realize that she is making an outrageous difference. One of the things that I most admire about Wafa and what she kind of continues to not only exhibit in her life, but exemplify is understanding that global health is all of our health. That global health is not something that happens, you know, to other people in other places, but that global health is truly kind of about all of our kind of shared fate. But in the world more generally, uh, she will be remembered as a contributor to world health and good policies, and I don't think you can ask more of a person or of a legacy uh, than that. We could measure her work by the probably now tens of thousands of students whose lives she's impacted through her teaching and her mentorship, the students who have worked directly with her on her research projects or the students that she's taught. We are dealing with enormous pressures. It's very easy to get disillusioned or to get to a point where you just want to give up. But we know that with the kind of leadership that we have seen in Dr. Al Sada, that that's what gives us hope. That's what enables us as a collective in our society to move forward. And that is a rare talent. And Dr. Wafa Al Sada is one of those individuals who has that rare talent. The best part of life should always be working to expand the circle of blessings. And I certainly think that Wafa um, more than has expanded the circle of blessings and proved uh, what a life well lived looks like.